Okay. Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? All right, Abby, it's your turn. Okay. New idea. Party game. Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Yes. If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, it's house steals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? <laughs> Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, yeah, right. What? Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? Dude is real sick. Yeah, he was like a... Uh, he was like a fish out of water. Right? Hmm, rabies? Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> Whoa. Holy shit. Ah! Uh. Ooh, fun. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Dude, he won't even know. All right, yeah, party. High five, touch my hand, Ryan. Don't, Ryan, touch my hand. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I try not to dwell on the past, man. No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids, just a bunch of grown ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Ugh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. It's gonna be fine, man, trust me. It's gonna be chill. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Yes. All right. <sighs> uh, dude, he won't even know. So, what was that about? We could go inside until morning. Or, or we could do something else. Whoa, you got it, boss. I'm sorry. I just really, really want to know what it feels like to hold it. Um, yeah, sorry. All right, well, it looks like it's a pit of eternal darkness, so. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. All right, well, it looks like it's a pit of eternal darkness, so. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. Oh my God, Ryan, you will not believe this. It's nothing. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Eh, on second thought, I'd rather not know what Mr. H is into. It's more mysterious that way. I beefed it. I don't play sports. Huh. Nothing but net. <laughs> oh. Come on, he's not gonna know. What do you think I'm gonna do, break it? Come on. Oh. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> That's a design flaw. <laughs> Ringy dingy ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I. You're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Hey, what's the gun for? Bears? Here? Yeah. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Huh? What a softie. <laughs> oh. Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? Yeah, me too. Um, 
They are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. <laughs> All right. The inner sanctum. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. All right. Well, hello. What is this? You hear that? So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or... Understood. Girlfriend? Boyfriend? Cool, yeah. Me too. Your call, man. Hey, Dunzo. Thank you. Huh. Okay, these are boring. What was that? It's probably nothing. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. All right. Fashion icon. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Uh, Ryan? These monitors, this is the camp. Is Mr. H spying on us? <laughs> sure. <laughs> what are trail cameras? Okay, yeah, like what? Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's, you're not a little bit curious. I'm not gonna touch anything. Can't promise that, but. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. Nice. Full up. I can try to encourage them. Go for it! You guys can do it! It's not working. They're just, we're going to have to wait. Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? So, like, ghosts and stuff? Boner. Fine. Get it? Boner. <laughs> Let me guess. Right now you're listening to one that has eerie music fade-ins and a mysterious demeanor and a broken syllable raspy voice and a mysterious lonely guy in his mom's basement getting hard for Area 51 and Bigfoot? I, I Sorry, not that you're into that stuff. I didn't mean to... You know, I'd give it a listen. No, Ryan, I'm gonna do this for you. What is the podcast called? I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, so did I tell you? Right. Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date? Uh, I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode, though. Hello? What? Uh, hello? It's weird. I thought I heard someone. Damn it, I missed my shot. Oh, no reason. I just thought it'd be nice for somebody to call you for a change. Thank you. I thought it was pretty good. Hello? Hello? It's weird. I thought I thought I heard someone. Fine. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird, man. I don't it's it's got to be something juicy in here. Okay. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. So, if you do go to school in the fall, have you like picked out a major or oh, have you not decided what you're going to do with your life? Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Yeah. Yeah, what I mean, think about it. It's camp is over and hunting season has just begun. What if what if okay, bear with me here. What if what's on the menu tonight is us? Exactly. That's why we need the gun for protection. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, totally. Dude, we're gonna be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it's it's like my mom always said, if you want to party, you gotta bring protection. I'm not going to fuck a bear. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Expensive hobby. Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. 
I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Oh. Wait, the island? Like, like our island? Like the one in the lake? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, fuck. Poking around where he shouldn't have is Jacob's middle name. This is very bad. Oh. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? Up here, my dudes. Rough. Hey, maybe uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. <laughs> right. What's up, man? Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> Ooh, I wish I had some singles. <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup, okay? I'm sorry. I, peace and love, man. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's, it's on, broken. Dylan, I can't. It's, it's, dude, I gotta get the last back. What's the wrong spot? with this thing? It's just Dylan, closing. Please. It's closed. Peace and love. Who's there? I thought we don't get pairs around here. Oh, fuck. Look at that, look at that. That black stuff, that's, that's infection. That's, and it's, it, it's spreading. This is bad, this is really bad, dude. Ryan, we should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. Hey, I'm just trying to help. And a shrink, too, probably. I don't know, man, look at that black stuff. Do I look like a doctor? We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. Ugh. Oh. Ew, dude, that's gross. He's super out of it, man. What fucking kind of animal does this? He's super out of it, man. What kind of animal? You can't have just realized that. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... Uh. Hey, Caitlin, guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. <laughs> His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. You don't think that's weird? You guys have no imagination. Ugh, oh, yeah. I wonder, maybe a satellite fell out of the sky or something? All I can hear is, Haka Haka Quora. You gonna have a Haka Quora? Haka Haka Quora. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You... See? She got a whole poem about it. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost stories? Yeah, let her finish, man. Holy shit, you, Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? You were supposed to be working... Uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Oh, shit. So, uh, why didn't you come? Man, this is so fucked. Well, they're probably just boinking their brains out in some cabin somewhere. Kaylee. Hey, let's not, um... You know... Uh, we're fucked. We're, we're really fucked. We don't even know what's out there. Well, not all of us. Dude, it's dangerous out there. Whatever, man. You're not in charge. <laughs> Hello. Caitlin! Caitlin, we don't have time for that. Come on. You got it? Okay. Kayla? No? Oh, okay. Um, uh, let's see. Skill. Who? Right, right. Yeah, uh, in Chris's surveillance room, he's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. 
We have a camp mascot? Here what? Uh -huh. Bummer. Careful with that. That's a camp relic. Ah, uh, R.I.P. megaphone. What is it? Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. No, a absolutely not. We, we have enough on our plates already. Stop discovering shit. Make it stronger. I'm proud to say. Okay. Well. Can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. How do you figure? Right. Right. Oh. We should have just been swimming in the lake all night. Alright, well. We're good now. Great news. Okay. Probably nothing. Hopefully. I mean. Right. And then we can come back for them. I kind of like that idea. Well, fuck. You know, there's actually a shelter under the lodge. It's probably safer. I don't think so. She'll be safer in the storm shelter. We don't all have to go. What's wrong with you? Just fix the car. I know. We're going to get out of here soon. Yeah? Aw, oh, I'm starting to dislike you. Yeah, I, uh, I don't think it was really Nick. Well... There's a shelter under the lodge. You could be safe there for a while. I don't think that's something I really want to know the answer to right now. There's a shelter under the lodge. You should be safe there for now. More great news. Okay, she's gone nuts. Uh, what the hell happened here? Insane, right? What? So can you fix it? Can you fix it? Oh, so you can fix it. That sounds like a long shot. Well... Fix or no fix? Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. Not die. Okay, well, just because you're using logic to make sense doesn't mean that I'm totally into it. What? Is there, is there something in there? What is it? I, are they... Should I open it up? The fuck? Caitlin, this place is wrecked. Mr. H is gonna be pissed. <laughs> you ever been? Skiing? Couple trips down the bunny slope, you'll get the hang of it. Is that, that's what's going on in your vibrant fantasy life. It's pretty weird. Yeah, I guess there are comparisons that could be made. <sighs> I, I, I can't stop picturing what happened to Abby and... Fuck. Uh, what happened here? This place, really? Sounds cold. It's weird fantasy. Caitlin, the silver. Use the silver shell. What if it isn't? Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, like, help, help? Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, like, help, help? Cops. With guns. We need a lot of backup out here. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's going to track them down? I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. I really hope they're going to be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is going to cut it? Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. Well, did you hang up? I don't know. You know, maybe you slipped and hung up or something. Yeah, of course. Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, you broke it. Well, that's weird. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? Did you try the hang up thingy? I don't know, it's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Well, not a landline. The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably... Break something up and get a message out. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Well, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. You don't know that, okay? I might be an amazing shot. I might be. 
Do you think she really needs it, though? She's staying in the lodge. We're going out there. When? Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just... Uh, all right. You're right. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. No. Fuck that. I'm keeping it. No, I'm just being safe. Look, you don't tell me what to do, man, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's, it's not gonna happen. Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, help, help? Uh, cops. Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. Well, that's good news. So what now? We don't know that. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know. We, he could have rabies or something. I'm just being realistic. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. What? No, did you? I, I, I thought I just heard my name. Ugh, it's so dark in here. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. What's wrong? Okay. What weather, Ryan? Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that, uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power. What if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Thank you. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem, don't mention it. Are you finished berating me? Look, I know that you're Mr. Large and in charge in a crisis. And that's great, but I finally feel like I have one piece of control over the situation, and you want me to give that up, and that's just brutal, dude. Well, you started it, man. Dude, why don't you just give her your gun? Right back at you, Buster. No, not with your argument. You gotta be fucking crazy if you think I'm gonna go out there without something to defend myself. Oh, do you think I'm gonna shoot my eye out? Don't be a dick, man. I know how to use this. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. I'll be fine. Uh, Mr. H? Okay, then 91-1. I don't know. I... Huh. Ah! What is that, Ryan? What was that? What is that? I don't know, man. I just don't think it's a good idea to go running out guns blazing against some random ass super animal. Well, if it's got hearing like a, like a dog, maybe? Uh, I mean, we could... We could play a really high-pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max, and, I mean, it would hurt like hell, but... Well, we gotta do something, come on! There's something missing. I... What's missing? Everything is right. I did everything right. <sighs> okay, come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um, come on. It's almost... Oh, man. I told the kids to look after this. It's three times older than they are. Why the hell did I do that? Oh, something like that could really take your hand off. I don't know, man. That's, it wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then we would have noticed that, right? The wire, get the wire, get the wire, get the wire. The thing, get it, plug it, plug it into the thingy. Uh, 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 the wire, wire, get the wire, get the wire. The wire, get it, plug it in the thingy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who was she? Uh, give me a minute. All good? Oh, fuck my hand. Why did you do that? Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, um, I'm okay. I, I, I mean, I'm not, um, but it's, it doesn't, doesn't hurt. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... So what should I say? Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. 
uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere and there's these hunters too and they seem to be shooting at the bears but also at us um which is not good and a few of our friends are hurt and um we are in desperate need of help so please I mean, there's vicious bears and uh we don't know what to do so please uh come help us sos uh this is uh, an emergency s save our ship come on down please help us yeah i do good was that yeah i've heard of bears what all right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Okay, okay yeah, sure. <laughs> Don't underestimate the power of technology. No, yeah, you're right. This is more like magic, man. In a manner of speaking, sure. Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Well, if you like, I could show you the rope. Yeah, it's easy, like climbing. Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Ah, it was nothing. Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then... It would have sensitive hearing, so. Yes, fucking do it. Just fucking do it. Oh god. Ah. Oh god. What now? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. Uh, I don't know. I it really, really sounded like they were. Check it. I don't know. Hold on. Did, what? What was that? Did Did he just? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC, okay? Let me get this set up. All right. The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so... It's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever. So I think the range is about a mile. But you saw something and you didn't think that you should fucking tell me? Fuck, what the fuck was that? Oh, what in the name of voodoo doo doo is this? They know where we are, man. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Shit. Okay, yeah. Okay. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Why didn't you tell me that there's someone? Oh. So that's why Nurse Kelly went home early. I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it if it has hearing like a dog, maybe it, we we can play like a like a really high pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but you know, the button, the button. Ah, ah. Oh, we blew the speaker. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um uh you know, I mean it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything and you know, nowadays everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day of camp so that we're not distracted by technology camp radio oh um yeah i mean i like music but i think i want to major in um oh yeah i mean you know not not here not here at camp you know i um i do that at home uh at home i am interested in the fact that if you zoom in on the stuff that we are made of at a atomic level we are just clouds of possibilities um and you know some people posit that this means that every decision that we make is creating a new physical reality uh, for ourselves and i don't know this is the kind of stuff that i get excited about but it's not something that anyone wants to talk about ever in a social situation. So I do that at home. And then here, I, um, uh, that's a little harsh, but, um, no. 
okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes, and then I slipped into a sort of stylish, nihilist thing, and uh, yeah, it just kind of stuck. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Not yeah, like, you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. And yeah, I, I mean, I think that it's not just one thing that determines what a person is. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. Oh yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything, and you know, nowadays everything we need is on the phone. But Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, okay. Camp radio? Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Um, not here at camp, you know. I, um, I do that at home. Uh, at home, I am interested in the fact that if you zoom in on the stuff that we are made of at a atomic level we are just clouds of possibilities um and you know some people posit that this means that every decision that we make is creating a new physical reality uh, for ourselves and i don't know this is the kind of stuff that i get excited about but it's not something that anyone wants to talk about ever in a social situation. So I do that at home. And then here, I, um, <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but, um, no. okay. So maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. And then I slipped into a sort of stylish nihilist thing. And, uh, yeah, it just kind of stuck. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, <laughs> not, yeah, like, you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. Um, I like Dylan Dylan. And, yeah, I, I mean, I think that it's not just one thing that determines what a person is. Yeah, I like him. He's That makes a lot of sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything. And, you know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, okay. Camp radio? Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Um, not here at camp, you know. I, um, I do that at home. Uh, <laughs> at home, I am interested in the fact that if you zoom in on the stuff that we are made of at a atomic level. We are just clouds of possibilities. Um, and, you know, some people posit that this means that every decision that we make is creating a new physical reality uh, for ourselves. And I don't know, this is the kind of stuff that I get excited about, but it's not something that anyone wants to talk about ever in a social situation. So I do that at home. And then here, I, um, Euro. <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but, um, no. okay. So maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. And then I slipped into a sort of stylish nihilist 
thing. And uh, yeah, it just kind of stuck. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, not yeah, like, you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. And yeah, I, I mean, I think that it's not just one thing that determines what a person is. Yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. What? Oh shit. Um, Up top, yeah. Okay. Um. um yeah. Uh, oh fuck no. Oh shit. I uh, hold the button. Oh fuck, dude. Okay, well we're about to be gone, man. Oh crap! It knocked out the wall. Uh, Ryan. Is it a bear? What the fuck? It's not a normal animal, man. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. Nobody's ever gonna treat me the same, are they? Would you date a guy with one hand? Yeah, I guess it's pretty... unique. I could get different attachments for it. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. So, Ryan and Laura, huh? Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a little... me time. Figure out the new Dylan before... anything. Dylan 2.0? Hey, find me something sharp enough at the scrapyard and... We can make that happen. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Yeah. What was that? Okay. Honestly, I don't know if he's worth the effort. Excuse me? Ryan's just gonna go wherever the wind blows him. I can't believe we just left her. So, scrapyard. That's where we're going? How'd you know it's there? Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? Well, let's get through this here first. Right. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. Maybe she shivers his timbers. So, I guess this is me now. Have you been there before? Yeah, he was being kind of a jerk, wasn't he? Well, maybe he tuned that part out of her story. What a jerk. Do you think there was something going on there? Yeah, I know, but I couldn't tell if it was angry sparks or, like, sexy sparks. <sighs> Doesn't she already have a boyfriend? Oh, shit. Oh, look, steampunk's back in. Look. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, ah! Get it together! Okay, okay, uh, um. Fuck. Uh. You know, I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. Oh, I hear that now. What's this? Harem scarum. Seeing this, Caitlin? <sighs> How are we gonna end up in a documentary? Please? But you're tough, I'm squishy. Do you mind if I take a little protection? Huh? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um. Just, uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah, but, you know, you're tougher. Come on. Look, I really don't want to go up there unarmed. Oh, very funny. So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Okay, so we're looking for engines? Got it. Come on. Come on, you rusty bitch. Ah! Well, you should have moved out of the way. I... Whoa, okay. Sorry I saved your life. Jeez. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose to play me in the movie about how brave I am. You think Brian's okay? So, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Are you nuts? Caitlin! <sighs> All right. Uh, problem. Maybe in that house thing. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. And welcome back, Grabber. Oh, shit. Fuck. Um, my bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. <laughs> oh, no.
These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Who's T? Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. You said it. <whistles> Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Oh, right. Anything by you? Ah, uh, 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 oh, fuck. Um, ah! Sorry, that was scary. <sighs> That's so annoying. Yeah, both are bad. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Uh, um, uh, shit, shit, um, uh. There's some, there's something coming! Hide! The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. Your balls are patchy? It's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Come on, that's like super unchill, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Yo, Mr. H, any chance I could get a little charge? I wanna have some tunes for the road. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> I think it's called How to Mind Your Own Business. You should listen to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one that you were talking about to the uh, kids at the campfire. Yes. You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? D tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> oh, podcast, nice, that's cool. Oh, yeah, you got a cooler one? Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. Well, why didn't you just break in? Oof. Ow. <sighs> I like my ideas. Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. <laughs> so, who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? So, you noticed that too, huh? <laughs> yeah? Just the three of us? I... Uh... <laughs> <sighs> Oh! <laughs> 